So here's a fun one. I was watching a Keeping Fish Simple video the other day on YouTube. Uh, Nick was talking about raising uh, Daphnia. And what he did was he started with a bucket of water and squeezed out some sponge filters in it to get all the muck and also probably a little Daphnia to start. And that's what I did. And I've got this two gallon bucket here from Home Despot. And I squeezed out a couple sponge filters, and one of them came from my, my tank in the house near in the kitchen. And that one's full of red cherry shrimp. Well, I ended up with pulling out five little red cherry shrimp. I mean little red cherry shrimp out of here. Um, I dropped one last night in this tank. And, and there's all kinds of predators in here, so I'm hoping he made it. But what I did... And there's shrimp in here also, but what I did was I, I set it loose on top of this leaf right there. And so hopefully it stayed up in the foliage. There's a, a little bit bigger one. Where are we? Over here. Yep. And there's another one up in the hornwort. And then I set two more loose in this farm tank with all the crypts that I have. All right, so they're, they're in there. They're, I mean, they are tiny. But then I found two more. And I thought, well, I'll try and acclimate these. And they're in this cup of water. And you might be able to see them. Let me get that measure, or the eyedropper out of the way. Um, and there they are. Little, yeah, they're not easy to see, but you can see it moving there. Uh, so they, uh, they came out of that bucket of infusoria. And there is a bunch of infusoria in there right now, too. So I'm just putting some drops of water from that farm tank into this, slowly acclimate them. Um, but I don't know if you can see, let's see, we get a spot here. You can see all these little white dots moving around. Um, they are down there. So it is working. And I even thought I'd try and maybe kick it up with a little, uh, little piece of broccoli that I threw, you know, pulled out of the microwave after, you know, cooked it in the microwave and threw it in here. It's rotting. Um, oh, and there's some sort of worm, not a clue. Don't know where that came from. Out of the fish tank filter, probably. And that's going to make somebody a meal at some point. It's not planaria. Um, just some sort of a worm. But ultimately, I'm going to use these, uh, assuming I get good success, at the other end, I want to. I'm trying to uh, spawn some bettas, uh, blueberry cheesecake and Vanellope von Schweetz, and uh, they spawned a couple days ago, and I don't think it survived. I don't think her eggs were any good uh, her first time, and from what I understand, that could take a couple times to actually get them going. Um, so we'll give them another shot. I'll, I'll give them a week or so, and then I'll put them back together and give them another shot. And this will be, this Daphnia will be fry food. One other thing Nick suggests is put a handful of Java moss in here and then just constant, leave a lid on it. So I'm going to have to get some Java moss because I don't have any. And, uh, um, and then every time you take out a cup of uh, the Infusoria or Daphnia, uh, put, a, put a cup of tank water back in just to keep the level the same. Kind of reminded me of sourdough starter. So anyway... I'll keep you posted on this. Looks like it's going to work. And the fact that the little shrimp came out of here is kind of cool. They were stuck to the sides, so I fished them out. So what did I say? Five of them so far.